And we're joined now by two of President Bush's grandchildren, Marshall and Ashley Bush, cousins. Thank you for being with us. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank, thank you for having, having us. us. <laughs> You're so bright and shiny this morning, but I know your hearts are, are heavy as well as you think about the life of your dear, dear grandfather. Um, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. You know, I think that um, I was lucky enough to be there when he passed, so I have a lot of closure, which is great. Um, I know he's back with our grandmother and with our Aunt Robin, so I'm happy he's happy. Of course, it's an inevitable thing. You know, he lived a really long and wonderful life, but it's still there are moments when I get choked up or yep. we get choked up talking about a memory. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's still difficult to, to grieve, but we're celebrating his life this week. There's so much to celebrate about his life. Um, Marshall, you mentioned that you were there. You were in the room as he passed, which is, I imagine, such a profound experience and a real privilege. Can you share what those moments were like? Um, you know, it was incredibly peaceful and sweet. I mean, beyond sweet, we, uh, a bunch of our family and best family friends were there, and everyone was you know, touching him and holding him, and we just wanted to make sure that he knew that we loved him as much as he loved us, and making sure he wasn't alone, and he was comforted, and, you know, it was just beautiful. It really was beautiful. It sounds like he was absolutely surrounded by love, and it sounds like he surrounded all his kids and grandkids with love all your lives. Ashley, what are the memories that are coming to mind um, in these last few days? The, the more recent memories stick, of course, in my head more, but I spent Thanksgiving with him, holding his hand and singing hymns. He was singing at the table. <laughs> I think my most recent memories are really just cuddling up in bed next to him and feeling his love till the very, very end. Mm -hmm. Marshall, you talked about, I think you were two, year old, two years old when your, your father was in the White House, and um, you have a lot of memories of being a little girl and, and the time he made for you. Yeah. Mainly, I think that he just, he liked having family around, always, all the time. And so it was great that I was, you know, only about a 10-minute drive from the White House growing up. I got to spend a ton of time there, a ton of time with uh, both Gampy and Ganny, which was amazing. I also love dogs. We had a, a real bond and, and connection over that. So that was sort of always our thing, which was awesome. One of the things your cousin Jenna has told me over the years is how much Robin, their daughter who they lost when she was just three years old to cancer, how much Robin was still in their hearts every single day. And when you think about them being reunited and, um, and, and getting to hold her again. What comes to mind? Just love, I guess. I mean, you and know, with, just... with Danny as well. Yeah. You know, he, think, mm -hmm. His favorite thing to do was be with family and to hug and make sure that you knew how much he loved you. So I think we're just very happy that she now gets to experience that, which, you know, she did not for a very long time. She was only four when she passed away, and she now gets to experience what we all got to experience for 94 years. Well, Marshall and Ashley, uh, he was a, a wonderful man, and it's so nice to just be able to talk to you and get your reflections this morning. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having you. us. So as you can see, there's some um, sadness, but also a lot of joy mm -hmm. and celebration of a life very well lived, guys. And isn't that what you want at the end, to have your kids yes. and grandkids speaking about you the way that everyone's speaking about him? All right, Savannah, thank you.